So hi guys. Uh, today we'll try to understand uh, once we uh, power on the computer. So how it is going to uh, load the operating system? OK, so if I open the typical uh, flow diagram, so the user is going to press the power button. So either it might be a laptop device or uh, or it might be a desktop. OK, so once we press the power button, so all the hardware components, I will get the power supply and then the firmware execution is going to be started. So once the firmware execution is going to be completed, then the operating system will get loaded. OK, so in uh, in today's discussion, uh, we'll stick to this uh, uh, different phases uh, within the BIOS. OK, so if uh, if you look at uh, the typical flow diagram of the boot phases, so it is split across the multiple phases. So security phase, pre EFI initialization phase, the Dixie phase, BDS, TSL uh, runtime and the afterlife. OK, so once you press the power button and once the, all the hardware components uh, will get the required uh, power supplies and all. So then the firmware execution is going to start. So the first phase, which is called the security phase. So in the security phase, uh, we used to identify the uh, security information and we used to initialize the temporary memory. And along with uh, uh, we will pass some information uh, from the uh, sec phase to PA phase. OK, so in the PI phase, uh, it is splitted into two different phases. One is the premium and the postmem. Uh, the premium phase uh, is a phase uh, where uh, before our DRAM get initialized, so we used to initialize some silicon uh, functionalities and all. So that phase is going to call the PI phase. And once the DRAM is up, so whatever the phase, uh, the PI drivers which we are going to execute, so those are all called the postmem. OK. And what uh, we are going to do uh, mainly with respect to the PA phase is we used to initialize the temporary memory. Uh, we used to create the memory handoff information. What type of memory is installed? What is the size and how many DIMMs are present and those kind of stuff. And then we, we used to pass the uh, uh, PI data to the Dixie phase with some sort of hops. OK, so in the Dixie phase, so since our uh, memory is already up, so we can call the Dixie Foundation and it will the Dixie drivers will get uh, dispatched uh, one by one. And then once the uh, Dixie drivers getting dispatched, so it used to initialize uh, the device and then at a, and along with that it used to scan all the devices uh, which is connected to the hardware. And then it used to load and it will dispatch uh, each, uh, each and every drivers. And then uh, we have the BDS, uh, BDS, TSL and the afterlife. So this is a phase uh, where uh, we used to see the boot device managers and all right. So that's phase. And then once we select the required operating system, uh, the BIOS will give the control to the uh, OS. OK, so in the previous uh, discussions, uh, so I, I have shown how to create the library classes. Uh, either it might be a base, PI or the Dixie and then the uh, uh, constructor destructors as well as the PA drivers, right? So during this uh, entire uh, boot phase uh, where it is going to be used, right? So if I show you the block diagram, OK, so here you can see uh, we have the. Uh, uh, we have the sec phase, right? So here you can see uh, I have split it into three boxes. So here you can see. So this is a PI libraries. Here we have the Dixie libraries. And then here we have the base libraries. OK, so the security phase can access the base libraries. So this PI core and this PI drivers can access this base library. The Dixie core and the Dixie drivers can access these base libraries. OK, so as the name suggests the, the base, meaning it is available throughout the boot phase and anyone can go and access those libraries without any dependencies. OK, so whereas the PI uh, libraries are specifically meant for the uh, PI uh, drivers alone. OK, so as you can see, so, uh, so OK, so we have the security phase. Once the security phase is passed, so the PI core will get dispatched. So the PI core will dispatch the PI binaries one after the other, meaning the driver one will get dispatched, driver two, driver three, driver four, etc. Right? But uh, this this it's the responsibility of the PI driver to decide the order of which drivers it has to dispatch. 
Okay, so within the INF file, there is a section called DPEX, so which we are going to discuss in the future uh, discussions. So based on the, the DPEX, uh, yeah, the PI core will decide, uh, the PI dispatcher will decide which driver should be loaded one after the other. Okay, so as you can see, so we have this uh, PI libraries, right? So this PI libraries is available only for the PI drivers. Okay, and at the end of the PI phase, uh, we have the Dixie IPL, which is a PI module. So this uh, the responsibility of the uh, Dixie IPL is to set up the page table. So since the memory is up, so uh, it, it used to set up the page table and it will give the control to the Dixie core. Okay, and the Dixie core, uh, is, uh, the responsibility of the Dixie core is similar to the PI core. Uh, the Dixie core is used to dispatch the Dixie drivers one after the other. Uh, the order of the dispatch is decided by the PA core, which is purely based on the DPEX. Okay, and here you can see uh, we have the Dixie libraries. So these Dixie libraries is available throughout the Dixie phase. Okay, so whatever after this uh, PA driver comes, right? So these Dixie drivers, uh, uh, Dixie libraries are available for all the Dixie drivers. Okay, so once the Dixie phase is going to be completed, so we have the BDS and then it will directly load the operating system. Okay, so there are uh, some certain uh, uh, memory reservations uh, which a uh, BIOS is going to do so that again we are going to discuss in the uh, future videos. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you.